Fans waiting out the rain at Fifth Third Field and enjoying their ballpark snacks ahead of Game 3 against the Saints. And the Hens are ready to play. Justice Bigby throttles this ball off the wall in right center. Why Madras going to trot on home while Bigby would slide in safe at third. And he'd score on a sack fly to make it 2-0 Hens in the second. To the next frame, Madras working some magic with a liner into right. The RBI single sends Gio Urshela to the dish as now it's 3-0. Big V then up next, and he's still in the groove. Zings one straight up the gut, and this plays a pair of teammates as St. Paul adds a home run late, but it doesn't matter. Toledo supplying the sunshine on this rainy day with the 5-1 win. We'll send it now to Brad, Wa Brad Wozniki and Jim Weber as the Hens successfully bounce back. Thanks. Back out here at Fifth Third Field where the Mud Hens are back in the win column with the Mud Hens picking up their 13th home win of the season. It all started with the starting pitcher, Brant Herter. Yeah, the pitching was great all night after yesterday's game when you give up 11 runs. You come back tonight, give up only one. That's a home run in the ninth inning and a 5-1 victory. You know, we talk about Salmon's off to a 4-1 and one start. Herter looked uh, just as strong tonight, and let's hope that's a, a good start for him to put up a bunch of wins. Yeah, Brant Herter earned <laughs> This victory here tonight with the five innings of work, striking out nine, tying his season high for strikeouts that he also had against Rochester. 54 of his 75 pitches were strikes, and the offensive support coming early was also good to see for the Mud Hens. Just as Bigby stays hot, he's now five for his last eight with five RBIs. Yeah, Bly Madris and uh, Justice Bigby really accounted for most of the runs in this uh, five to one win. You know, everybody is going to have their ups and downs, and those two guys have been pretty hot late, uh, recently. And this team can hit anyway, but you're not going to do it every night. So you have to, you know, kind of move it around. Maybe two or three guys this night, two or three guys that night. And it's uh, it's working out. 21 and 15 is a pretty good start. And the Mud Hens will take it, getting this victory here at home. And they'll be back at it tomorrow with a 7.05 scheduled first pitch. Will it be another night where we get a Mud Hens win and a Walleye win? We hope so. But for now, we'll go back to the studio.